Ely, Minnesota is a destination for those drawn to wilderness adventures. Located in the Superior National Forest, Ely is the gateway to the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, which offers pristine escapes year-round to paddle, snowshoe, camp, and fish. Ely is a self-proclaimed sled dog capital of America, from recreating to racing. Sled dogs are part of Northern Minnesota's culture. The annual Wolf Track Classic Sled Dog Race was established in 2008 by the Ely Chamber of Commerce to provide a winter counterpart to Ely's popular Blueberry Art Festival held in July. The sled dog race spans 65 miles through Northern Minnesota state trails and involves hundreds of sled dogs and mushers from the upper Midwest and Canada. One of the racers, Ryan Miller, owns Underdog Sled Dog Company in Ely. He introduced his friends and family to winter wilderness camping using sled dogs to carry supplies. It's a lot of work just driving these dogs, breaking through slush, breaking trail, uh, drilling holes, getting water, collecting firewood, splitting wood, uh, chopping meat for the dogs. It's all, it's, a, it's all work, but man, when you get uh, 12, 15 miles out into the boundary waters and sunset and you get to watch the sunrise the next day. Sometimes the northern lights are out. Wolves will haul back and forth with the dogs sometimes. It's a, you can't beat that. That's uh, about the, one of the best experiences you can have, in my opinion. Ryan also works for the U.S. Forest Service that employs sled dogs to carry in supplies like wood for replacing portage boardwalks. The Ely area's history dates back centuries, when the Boy Fort Band of Ojibwe traveled here from the East Coast. In the 1700s, French fur traders arrived, and in the late 1800s, prospectors came in search of gold, but instead found iron ore. Mining operations were open and brought settlers and other industries like logging. Railroads were laid between Tower and Florence, which was later renamed Ely after a mining executive. While the demand for iron ore surged during the World Wars, it dropped off in the 1960s and 70s, and many mines and logging operations closed. In 1964, Congress passed the Wilderness Act that made the BWCA part of the National Wilderness Preservation System, and mining and logging were replaced by a thriving outdoor industry. Ely's history and folklore is celebrated in several local museums, and its natural history comes to life at the North American Bear Center and at the International Wolf Center, founded by world-renowned researcher Dave Meech, who started studying wolves in the late 1950s. At that time, 1958, um, wolves were considered vermin, um, generally, and that is they were not protected anywhere in the U.S. or Canada for that matter. Uh, actually, probably they weren't really protected anywhere in the world except for national parks or something. Dave studied wolves at Isle Royal and spent 25 summers near the North Pole, where he pitched a tent near a wolf's den and studied their behavior. The white wolves on Ellesmere Island were tame because they'd never been hunted or trapped. Dr. Meech wanted the world to better understand wolves, so he led efforts to open the nonprofit International Wolf Center in 1993 that draws more than 40,000 visitors annually. One of the center's most popular exhibits, Discover Wolves, helps people get past their fears to view wolves from the eyes of researchers. You can um, watch video that was actually taken inside of a wolf den in Voyagers National Park, so you can see wolf pup development. You can also learn about how far wolves travel. They're amazing dispersers. Beyond its museum and outfitters, Ely also has a vibrant downtown with shops and restaurants and the unique Brainstorm Bakery. In 2007, when owners Brian and Andrea Strom started selling Crapola, their unique cranberry apple flavored granola, it caught the attention of Jay Leno. Okay, one last one. <laughs> now this is a combination of cranberry, apple, and granola. It's a drink, All right. it's a drink. This is why you hire people coming up with fashion lane. Now locally made Crapola. <laughs> the homemade granola that started as a joke and was only sold locally hit the national stage. We got this plug by Jay Leno, so. Uh, but it was too much too soon. We didn't even have a website. We had a we had or, yeah. yeah <laughs> so. I never thought we'd be here now yeah. in the early days. It just kind of seemed like a funny on the side thing we would do locally. I had I had no no idea we'd blossom into a, a real full-time business. So it started as the joke, and then from there we had no plan to do anything else. 
There was no plan to launch a second flavor, but when it came to that time, we said, well, what should we call our second flavor? And then naturally, number two seemed like the perfect name. <laughs> the Stroms added more flavors, like Colonial Times and Kissy Poo, and their high fiber granolas are now sold nationwide. Whether indoors or out, the people of Ely just want to have fun. What better place to escape traffic and high pressure jobs than at the edge of the wilderness? Funding for this program was provided by the Minnesota Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund, Safe Basements of Minnesota, your basement waterproofing and foundation repair specialist since 1990. Peace of mind is a safe basement. Live wide open. The more people know about West Central Minnesota, the more reasons they have to live here. More at livewideopen.com. Western Minnesota Prairie Waters, where peace, relaxation, and opportunities await.